So I'm on my way to school. Um, leg hurts a little bit. Depending on, uh, like, it'll be better by tomorrow, I think. Hope. But depending on how it is by like 2.30, it depends on what whether I'm gonna run so today or not. It was actually 51 today. Um, <clears throat> my phone ran out of battery though for some reason. But now, legs feel a lot better than it did. Oh shoot, forgot to bring a flashlight. <laughs> You guys can't see a thing. Sorry about that, guys. So, oh, yeah, it started. Um, anyways, guys, yeah, I'm ready to set up. Um, uh, my phone died earlier, so I couldn't exactly record me walking around then. My leg is almost better by now. Like, almost, like, it'll be better by tomorrow, in case you're concerned. Um, and actually, tomorrow will be, like, today. Or, well, tomorrow will be when this video comes up. So, by the time you're watching this video, my legs should be better. So, yeah, I could not, like, yeah. After all, it's just a quad, and it? it's, it's a little sore still. Not much. Um, see you guys in a little bit. Oh, and in case you're wondering what kind of weather this is right now, it is... Freezing rain. It's not pouring freezing rain, but it is freezing rain. We had pouring freezing rain for about three minutes. Now it's uh, just about, just barely sprinkling freezing rain. And most of it's already turned to ice by the time it's the ground. Also, stay tuned for the um, video that's coming tomorrow. Like, uh, we are going to... Um, well, I am, and Grandma and Grandpa are going to Ottawa. Hopefully, if we aren't snowed in. Um, 416 is normally clear, even in the worst of weather, because they have plows constantly going up and down it. Um, like, 416 is the one just on the other side of Augensburg Bridge. Um, from here to Augensburg, Normally good, especially in town, and like within a mile or two of Augensburg. Um, and people drive slowly around here. Like, it's not like Germany where it's the Autobahn or something like that. Although, that seems to work surprisingly well in Germany with the Autobahn with very, very few crashes and like that kind of thing. Um, as long as everybody's moving at the same speed, that's how I keep it safe. Um, semi-trucks, however, they don't like icy roads. <laughs> um, like, I wouldn't be surprised if we come across a few semis that can't make it up a hill on 416. There's one hill that's probably, I don't know, 5% grade. Like, there's a statue. Hold on, let me, that's, there's not really a pool. I'll walk there. up to it. Like, the statue's here. It'd be kind of nice if the town actually, yeah. Uh, with the little moats around the statue or something like that. Kind of nice. Pond is not normally there, like that fire water there. Quite large, I'd say. Let's see, I'd say 30 feet by 35 feet. Then you have a little area over here, probably about 5 by 5. That's kind of so, here's a map of Canton where we are now, historic downtown, there's the island, right over there, that's where the most of the part is, but not a lot of the places that are quite old. Uh, that's the abandoned McDonald's right there. Well, it's not really abandoned, it's kind of vacant. Although things are falling down to the ceiling inside it, so it is, I guess you could call, abandoned. Um, and an recreational trail, part of its run, it's a good trail to run on. Around the uh, golf course, all of our treatments, um, truck carrying sewage is going by. I think I've mentioned a lot of trucks, but yeah. Um, so Canton, good trails in there. Most of the even have marked, but they haven't marked. Where's the Avenue of the Elms? Saint University. On the drive, uh, where is Avenue of the Elms? Um, it, there's been the River Park. 
right down there. Um, hmm. Don't really have it. I thought they did. On the map over there, um, St. Lawrence they do. Goes out down that way. Then you have the summer trail. So, I just pulled in here to show you that there is ice crystals forming on the jacket. It's not my jacket. It's a little bit too small for me. And it's, uh, but, yeah, it's not tight around the waist or anything because mom's bigger than me, but a lot bigger. <laughs> okay, okay, cut. Well, <laughs> just put it here to show you the ice crystals that were forming on mom's jacket. Well, I can put it on, it's about four inches too short at the bottom, and like my wrist is pretty much fully exposed. So, <laughs> I'm six foot two. Mom is five six. <laughs> so, this here, there's like a frozen giant puddle several inches deep that goes across this driveway. Um, I'm going to see exactly, I kind of need to cross it because I go on the road and go around that way to get home. I'm going to see how sturdy this ice really is and I'm going to film that just in case it goes uh, not according to plan. Okay, so. Okay, that's actually sand. That, oh, that ice. See how not a crime will put. Yeah, my feet are going through it. But I made it to an island. <laughs>